Welcome back to Bleacher Talk. We're coming at you live from Soho 63, the battle for Arizona Avenue. We've got the trophy here coming up on Friday, Hamilton and Chandler. I'm alongside Claudia Collins. This is Bleacher Talk presented by Valle Luna. And uh, yeah, this is a lot of fun so far. There's food right next to us just teasing us. I I'm getting hungry. What about you, Claudia? We're getting close to that time, though. So, you know, we'll get through this. Then you guys will get some food. And then no more class today, right? You guys are out of class for the rest of the day. How's exactly. that feel? It feels nice, you know, not having to go to school, just to relax and focus a little bit more on football. It's nice. All right. Well, we've got Michael Masunas here. We've got Grayson Stovall as well, here with the brown suit as well. Yep. I've been asking everyone, so the tie mm -hmm. not looks good. Not looks good. Is that you guys or is that mom? That's you. Yes, sir. I did it myself this morning. Nice. So good work. These two are, are more independent than everybody else. That mom helped out a little bit. I respect <laughs> Nothing it. Nothing wrong a long time with to that. Learn. Nothing wrong with yeah. a little help from mom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Awesome. Well, I know you guys must be really excited and maybe some nerves with this upcoming Friday. A little nervous or is it all excitement? Uh, it's a bit of excitement, a little nerves. You know, we've played them twice before last year. We know how they are. We like we've been watching film on them. We've been studying them well and we're just we're making a good game plan. And we're ready to prepare for this game. For you, is this game, I keep hearing the word revenge. So is, is the game against Chandler here for the Battle for Arizona Avenue or in a championship game, is that basically the definition of revenge for you at this point? Yes, sir. I mean, looking back on last year, and, and we all know what happened, um, this whole season has been based on getting back to state and, um, you know, taking our revenge on Chandler. And, you know, this is the biggest game of the year. This is what we look forward to um, every year, the last game of the season. And, um, you know, I think Chandler, Chandler will see what we've been working on the, the past off season and, and this year. Grayson, you say this is the biggest game of the year. I think you meant regular season because I think you see yourself – Going pretty far, is that right? What do you What do you feel like is the outcome for you guys this year? Uh, I think we're winning it all this year. You know, we've been putting in the work in the off season. We've been playing great. Our chemistry is amazing. We've been building as a team, and I think we're just gonna go out and dominate and show Arizona who the best team in the state is. So a lot of people, I know you guys are moving forward and you're ready for this week, are still talking about the Bishop Gorman game. What was that like from your perspective, being able to win that game? And they went 10 and 1 this year. You guys were the only team to beat one of the top teams in the nation this year. Yes, sir. I mean, obviously. Um, extremely well opponent and uh, they played an amazing game but I think it came down to those last obviously a minute and, <laughs> and a half in the game and I think looking back on that you know that's something you'll never be able to take away from us um, making history and obviously we went viral so you know it was kind of fun from that um, but you know one of those games just fits perfectly with this season and and uh, you know obviously how we're aiming for the season to end just uh, with two top uh, 15 victories um, in regular season and then uh, finish, the, finish the season with winning state. I got to touch on the word viral real quick. What's the best part of going viral? Either of you can answer, but what was the coolest part about going viral after that game? Um, I think opening up your phone like seconds after the game and, and anything you open up, you saw your team and yourself um, on national news and you know like ESPN and, and those sorts of things. I think that's um, extremely fun to look at and see. The national rankings just came out. Hamilton's number 11 as of, I believe, Sunday. Maybe it was early Monday morning. So, yeah. Today's not Monday. It's Tuesday. I made that mistake earlier. But <laughs> do you feel like that ranking is really representative of what your team has done so far this season? I think it's great to see that we're finally getting the recognition we've been working so hard for. And I think it's just a testament to what we've been putting in this season. And I think we can just keep building on it and keep focusing. You're ready to take down number six, right? That's what's happening? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so throughout the season, it's a long season, but during the dog days, whether it was training camp or back in the season, who were a guy, who was a guy, or who were some of the guys on the team that really just kept you guys pushing forward? Whether it's by having fun or maybe the guy that just yells at you all the time on the team, who was it? Yes, sir. Um, all of our coaches do a really good job of, of pushing us, um, kind of you know keeping us toward that goal of, of what we're aiming to at the end of the season. But you know the whole team, the whole team is really just a complete family, and I think that's what it takes to win um, those big games and you know eventually get to state. Um, having that close knit brotherhood is like we like to say, and um, you know just everyone pushing each other toward being a better person and a better player. Absolutely. Is there a song or anything that y'all just blast in the locker room to get hyped before a game? I feel like there is. Your face just lit up a bit. Well, our coach, we, he likes to keep it dark, and we kind of just all have our headphones in, and we're focusing, preparing for the game, and we all just focus on ourselves, and we come together as a team, and we just break down, and we go out and dominate. So is there a song of your own choice that are in your headphones? It changes on the weekly basis, depending on what my mood is and how I want to play. Any any predictions for what the song will be this week? Maybe something more EDM style, upbeat, getting me going. All 
right. No country roads? No country roads? <laughs> you can, Over have there. you guys on that yet? <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. Thank you guys for joining us. It's a busy week for you. Make sure you eat up today and enjoy this event here at Soho 63. Thanks again for joining us. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. And we will be right back here on Bleacher Talk. I'm Jordan Spurgeon alongside Claudia Collins. The battle for Arizona Avenue. This beautiful trophy is up for grabs this week. Hamilton versus Chandler. Stay tuned.